I'm here with Aura from Gartner, and you just had a wonderful session, data storytelling in the realm of generative AI. Can you tell my audience, what are the top three takeaways that they can get from your session? Um, because not everybody was able to attend, unfortunately. Sure. So if you ask ChatGPT at this moment what data storytelling is, it will tell you that it needs to have visualization, which we kind of like guess. It has to have narration, because when we are looking at the, uh, at the, the, the chart, we need to be told what should we look at and have an explanation. Um, technology that already exists in all the analytics and BI tools at the moment uh, can be automated uh, and it can be updated dynamically as the data is changing, changing life. Uh, and then um, data storytelling also contains context because we need to understand why the data is happening in a certain way. Now, context can come from metadata or uh, context can come from information that is outside the company, um, other external factors that are influencing the insights in a certain way. Now, this is fine, but in the last year and a bit, I introduced another two layers, as I like to call them, the onion layers. One is emotional triggers. Why should I care about taking action on this data? So, for example, if you're a CFO of a company, uh, you're very much triggered by the idea of losing money, right? Yeah. If you are the uh, chief human resources, you're going to be very much uh, influenced by the idea of reten uh, retention of your staff. So each of us have actually emotional triggers in terms of like, why should I care about the data? But the last part that a lot of people that are producing insights that are not delivering to the stakeholders is what action should I take on this insight? And okay? is that the inside of the onion? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. It's about the, the decision options that I should take. Imagine you're a CEO of a company that sees five reports a day with 500 KPIs. That doesn't really tell me too much. But if I'm a product manager that reads that insight, and then I'm saying, well, we should take decision A, B, and C and send that insight to the CEO, then they will say, ah, okay, um, they have the vision, you know, the company, they know what kind of like options are the best. So they will be able to be uh, to pick out of those three options, one of them. Right. But we need to make uh, the life of the decision makers a little bit easier and help them. And how does generative AI come into play here? Ooh, uh, well, as I said, from technology point of view, we can um, create already uh, and generate already charts, um, narration, even context. If we are using a large language model to capture all the metadata within an organization and outside, that's fine. Um, on the emotional triggers, a technology uh, um, can be developed, but it's not still finely tuned there. Imagine that you have some tags of like what you're interested in and some tags that what I'm interested in. Think of Instagram when we were fed a certain reels of um, kind of like videos. The right. same thing should happen with the data storytelling. I should see maybe three data stories a day. You should see maybe five because you're... Um, kind of like burnout point is five uh, info points of information, mine will be three. And yeah. then that algorithm should know what you're interested in and what I'm interested in. Now, on the decision options, again, we can understand what are the best options inside the business with these large language models, but we need to kind of like harness the, the, the methodologies and techniques and put them, implement them in the technology. Okay, amazing. Well, or before we wrap, just tell the audience, where can they follow your content? Because you, you, you post really cool stuff. Yes, so um, actually I uh, just had an article on the CIO News, uh, which is uh, um, uh, just an article in a, a news press for everybody that can read about data storytelling. I am doing webinars um, at Gardner every single summer on data storytelling. It's one of the most viewed webinars. Um, the, the request for data storytelling is almost the same as for Gen AI when we were looking at the word search on Google. Oh, wow, com, okay, there's a match. Like, yeah, okay, yeah there's a match. The, the, the charts are almost like the, the lines of the two uh, terms are like almost interwining now. And it's like interesting. It's a very popular subject. Um, and these webinars can be seen uh, for free on Garner.com. You just Google it, data storytelling or Apopa, Garner, and it will probably appear on on first page on the first two, two things that you can have there. Um, and we are doing this because we believe that uh, we also have a role of data literacy and data educating the the uh, the people out there that might not be Garner clients, but uh, we like to share uh, insights and knowledge as well. Okay, amazing. And make sure you follow Aura on LinkedIn.
Yes. You have really good content. Thank you so much cool. for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Cheers. 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 <laughs>